This is the energy that made life possible on Earth. It is also the energy that created volcanoes. Which with the passage of time enriched their adjoining lands with precious soils, rich in organic matter and fertile components. These are the ideal soils where coffee can deliver its best virtues in aroma, acidity and body. In El Salvador, a coffee growing land par excellence, there are two volcanic ranges where the world has obtained some of the best Arabicas and Bourbons that ever pleased its flair for a unique cup of coffee. One is the Cordillera del Balsamo Range, also noteworthy because it's one of the places in the world where the legendary balsam trees grow. The other is the Apaneca Lamatepec Range, most likely the spot on earth with the most suitable land to obtain a superb quality coffee thanks to a perfect blend of climate, soil, temperature, altitude and distance from the equator. On the elevated summits of these two remarkable volcanic ranges is where the cultivation areas of Urrutia's estate coffee are located. And most of them have been yielding rich top quality cherries since more than a century ago. In the 1870s, Mr. Juan Gurrutia Salazar, an eminent and visionary Salvadoran farmer, pioneered the cultivation of the Arabica Bourbon variety of coffee in El Salvador by taking advantage of the privileged volcanic soils nested on the elevated slopes of these lush mountain ranges at 5,000 feet above sea level. Here, the cool mountain breeze merging with the warm air streams coming from the Pacific Ocean, which bathes the shores some 30 miles below, create an outstanding microclimate for the cultivation of a remarkable aromatic. Mr. Urrutia worked with passionate hands and heart, creating a tradition of coffee quality and love for the land and its people that has been continued until this day and age. Our main cultivation area at the Urrutias estate is El Ingenio de los Ausoles, a Spanish word for geyser, a famous coffee farm located on the slopes and peaks of the Apaneca mountain range. Here we have the benefit of a unique scenario, since we have several volcanic fumaroles that have been showering the soils with volcanic minerals, gases and vapors since immemorial times. These geysers contribute to an exceptional quality in the coffee cherries that grow on their surroundings since they enrich the soils of the state coffee farm areas and spray them with volcanic mist. The phosphoric contents of our volcanic soils render the splendid acidity and the outstanding chocolate tones to the cups obtained from such coffees. When the coffee fruits have reached their perfect ripeness, they are hand-picked with care and efficiency, and then transported to the waiting stations. Sometimes having to pass through these active volcanic spots. The honey-rich cherries are hand-selected once more before being transported to the mill, which is located only 45 minutes away from these shade-grown coffee farms, which comprise our state. The farthest coffee areas are located at two hours maximum from the mills. These are San Ernesto, at the crest of the Cordillera del Balsamo mountain range, and Las Canoas, 
on the ocean-facing slopes of the Apaneca mountain range. Both are, like El Ingenio de los Ausoles, shade-grown coffee farms planted with the Arabica bourbon variety. All of our state farms are planted with the best seeds selected carefully and receive our close care and supervision since the time they are seedlings ready to be transplanted all through their growing period until they bear their first harvest. Every year, the cropping of the coffee trees, as well as the shade trees, which allow us to manage the exact amount of sunlight in every stage, is done methodically with skillful art. Fertilizing and play control are continuous. All of these tasks are aimed to enhance the unsurpassed conditions of light, abundant and even rainfall throughout the year, temperature and geographical location to obtain coffee cherries of peerless quality. At dusk, during harvest time, only the best cherries with 1% greens maximum are deposited in the reception tanks. Here begins a process that has many quality control points that permit us the greatest traceability possible. By the time we export a container of coffee, we'll know from what cultivation area that lot came specifically and when it entered this first stage of the whole process. We use water to transport the cherries through the whole wet process to avoid any damage. We also calibrate the pumps and pulpers constantly in order to assure that no beans are broken or damaged. After passing several quality control stages, which reject defective beans, these are deposited in fermentation tanks where they undergo a natural enzymatic process to deprive them of the mucilage. This may take up to 24 hours to ensure a slow process that bestow the coffee's sweetness tones and rounded body in the final cup. Once the mucilage is taken off, the beans are washed with clean water obtained from our own springs that flow next to our coffee mill. Then, they are sun-dried in our clay brick patios, where they are turned over every 15 minutes to achieve a slow and uniform drying and to reach an optimum 12 centigrade degrees of humidity. Once we receive an order, the beans which has been storage to repose are peeled off their parchment after undergoing through a series of specialized methods, mechanically by weight, electronically by color and density, and finally by the expert eyes and hands of our selection personnel. When we receive an order, we cup a representative sample in our cupping laboratory to guarantee our customers that they are receiving the maximum quality coffee backed up by our century-old tradition our prestige and know-how. They can be sure to receive their coffee in strict accordance with the terms negotiated. The lengthy coffee quality tradition of the Urrutia family goes beyond the cup. Their love for the land is reflected in the conservation, protection, and rational use of the natural resources of the state ecology. In the crest of El Ingenio Los Ausoles coffee farm, the Urrutias have left more than 200 acres of untouched natural forest as the last safe heaven of the fauna and flora of this mountain range. And as active members and supporters of the Salvadoran Zoo Foundation, this forest also serves as a liberation sanctuary of endangered species that the Foundation has rescued from poachers or that has been abused or rejected by pet owners. In the San Ernesto farm, they have built a facility used by the Foundation where these creatures find a shelter 
where they are treated with loving care or until they are ready for liberation. On the other hand, the protected cloud forest replenish the water fountains constantly to the point that the Urrutias estate delivers free pure mountain spring water to more than 6,000 persons that live in the little towns below the El Ingenio Sausoles farm. And in Las Canoas coffee farm, the protected forest nurtures spring and waterfalls that are the main attraction in eco coffee tours offered by neighbor coffee farms to local and foreign tourists. Thus, creating awareness about the valuable coffee ecosystems and their role in the quality of water, air and soils for the future of El Salvador. The Urrutias Estate Coffee Farm secures steady jobs for over 600 workers and even during the international coffee crisis and prices they postponed a few family private investments in order to maintain the normal payroll to aid their faithful collaborators. They also supply them with staples, food, decent housing during harvest time and provide easy access to school and medical care for their children. Nowadays, the Urrutias Estate Coffee is managed and constantly improved by the three Urrutia brothers that represent the fifth generation of coffee growers in the family. Their parents, Don Gustavo and Doña Ana Maria Urrutia, are handing down to them the long-lasting quality tradition, not only in the cup, but also in the ecology inheritance and in the fair treatment to the people that work in the coffee farms and live in the adjacent communities. It is a respected family in the coffee business and well known for their altruistic and positive endeavors. And now, with the sixth generation coming up, they do what they enjoy the most, to spend relaxed and loving times together and sharing an exquisite cup of coffee the pride of the family and the ever-present symbol of their deep passion for coffee and their continuous commitment with quality. Urrutia's Estate Coffee